Another day, another vlog. <laughs> I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now. Oh, no, 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 no. This is why Summer Fridays change the packaging. Because this is a mess. Oh, thank God. I've got some wet wipes in here. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru. I'm heading to Owl's Beach for the week with Romeo. I'm so excited I'm meeting her there. We're doing, sorry, my camera. We're doing a little staycation. I'm so excited. Uh, we'll be there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm gonna vlog the whole trip. Probably two vlogs. I'm gonna do like a part one and a part two. I'm hoping to get a lot of content for you guys. But I just thought I'd start off the vlog. I'm gonna head to Rosemary Beach area early. It's about an hour and a half from my parents' house. So I just stopped halfway at Starbucks. My lips have been so dry, you guys. I'm gonna go get my nails done in town and pick up some groceries and stuff for the trip. We're staying in a little carriage house in Rosemary Beach. So it'll be so super fun, I'm so excited. I decided to start the vlog because I was listening to the Skinny Confidential podcast, which I love, my favorite podcast, probably really the only podcast that I listen to. I'm not a huge podcast listener besides their podcast, I love it. The guests that they have on are amazing. So if you're looking for a podcast, I highly recommend. I was just listening to, let me see exactly what it's called world's top celebrity stylist Maeve Riley which is Hailey Bieber stylist I follow her on Instagram I'm obsessed with her um, I was just kind of listening to her story and they talked about um, a ton of great things especially styling and stuff which I'm super into Hailey Bieber style is one of my big inspirations when it comes to fashion and things like that but they also talked about just a ton of good stuff about basically just people trolling on the internet people leaving rude comments hate comments and stuff i don't get like a ton of hate comments but when i do get like a comment or two i have a hard time adjusting to it and dealing with it and like forgetting about it i let it like ruin my day and i try not to but they were just saying a ton of good stuff so if you're dealing with like bullying they talk a lot about bullying too or just rude people in general i highly recommend listening to this episode because it really kind of changed my perspective on it because it's kind of like these people are hiding behind a screen lauren and michael who that's their it's their podcast um her birthday is the exact same day as mine so she's a gemini which i'm like not really into signs and stuff but i just think it's cool i've never met someone with my exact same birthday so she was talking about how her exact words were kind of like I would dare them to say it to my face like they would never actually say it to you which is hard to remember when you're sitting there reading stuff and social media can be such a toxic place but I have always tried to be the person that has promoted positive energy and good energy on my channel and so I hope you guys feel that when you come to my social spaces and stuff this is like a rant at the very beginning of this vlog but I know a lot of people who are like wow she has no balls to leave her comments on or Oh, she deletes her comments she blah 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 like you get crapped on if you delete your comments or if you block your comments or things like that or if you block certain individuals who are maybe being rude to you but it's like you're coming to my space you would never let someone walk into your home and be like f you i hate you i hate your beliefs and you're ugly like you would never let someone come into your space and say that so why are you going to allow them to come onto your instagram or onto your Twitter or your YouTube and let them talk to you like that so I don't know I've never thought of it like that and so people who are dealing with bullying are dealing with hate and you are deleting your comments and getting shit on for deleting your comments or negative even more comments for not standing up for yourself it's like you don't owe anyone anything and you don't have to respond to that and you don't even have to leave it up on your page I'm someone who if I get a comment or if you're leaving a comment and it's something that I don't feel like is good energy on my channel, I'm not gonna leave it up because nine times out of 10, then everyone just kind of starts commenting after it and it just leaves a whole thread of negative energy and I just am not someone who likes that. I didn't make a social following or a social presence. I didn't create the social presence for there to be negativity. And also I know a lot of people are like, you're putting yourself out there for people to comment on. And I think that's like a huge misconception. I think I'm putting myself out there to share my life and document my memories and document my life. And I feel like a lot of other YouTubers or even just social media people in general feel this way. It's like, 
you don't owe anyone anything and you don't owe people an explanation for anything. Think about it. Even people who aren't on social media, do you think that they go to work every day and go to school every day or whatever their case may be and just accept those negative comments and negative energy? No one likes that. No one likes people who do that. So if you're someone who does that, you should stop because it's very rude and disheartening and it's just unnecessary. And if it's happening to you, I'm so sorry because it can really be such a toll on someone's mental health and you don't, you don't deserve that and you don't have to put up with it. So I just wanted to start off and say that because I was feeling really inspired by that episode and I feel like there's someone that's watching that could benefit from hearing that. So I am someone who I'm always here to talk if you need something and I always want my page to be somewhere where you come, where you feel welcomed and you feel happy and love watching my stuff and all that. I don't ever want it to be negative. I don't want to talk about negative things and things like that. So that is why I started a channel. That's why I started social media in general. And yeah, I'm going to change the subject now. I'm about to order a coffee. I'm so excited. I haven't had Starbucks in like a week because near my parents' house, the this is the closest Starbucks. It's like a 40 minute drive. So I just make my coffee at home, which is fine. But every now and then I love a good Starbucks. So I actually drink this energy drink, which is not good because now I'm about to get a coffee and it's just going to be just going to be insanity. But I'm so excited to see Romeo and hang out with her. I haven't seen her since I think my engagement party. So I'm really excited to see her. And the engagement party was so quick and there were so many people that it'll be nice to have just like one-on-one -on -one time with her. We're so excited. We're just going to do the pool, the beach, dinners, cute dinners every night bike rides all that it's just gonna be a really fun like kind of last kick of summer vlog this is like the last little summer trip before i head back to colorado to get ready for fall which i'm so excited about so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already you can follow me over on instagram as well i'm going to be posting probably a ton of pictures from this little trip so if you want to see like outfits and stuff i am obsessed with rosemary owls beach area it's my favorite place i'm gonna order a coffee and probably gonna listen to another podcast there's a ton of good new skinny confidential podcast episodes that i am like behind on and i'm not kidding i love i think it's because i love lauren's voice she is such a calming voice and I just love her podcast, so I think I'm gonna get a cold brew today. That sounds good. If you guys know my Starbucks drink order that I've been getting for like, I don't know, like a year and a half, two years now, the iced coffee with two pumps white mocha and vanilla cream cold foam. Um, I changed it to starting to get cold brew instead of the iced coffee and it tastes so much better. I feel like their iced coffee kind of tastes a little bit sour and their cold brew is just a much more smoother. I remember I was watching Caitlin Nolan's vlog. If you guys watch her, super cute. Um, she drinks her coffee like black basically so she's like more into the actual coffee taste than i am and she was saying to me how their cold brew is much better than their iced coffee so i switched it and it's so much better i cannot wait because i think that the starbucks fall drinks are coming out like next week i think i read an i literally looked it up i read an article saying it's coming they're coming out the 24th of august and today's the 17th so exactly a week from today and if that's true I love the pumpkin cream cold brew. It's so good. It just tastes like fall. And I'm so excited because it's going to be like fall weather in Colorado for like once in my life. I'm going to actually experience a fall. Hi, could I please get a grande uh, cold brew with extra ice? All right, grande cold brew, extra ice. What else for you? Uh, could I get two pumps of white mocha in that with vanilla cream cold foam? I gotcha. What else for you? Uh, that's it. All right, that'll be $5.94, thank you. Thank you. My order, if you guys want a screenshot. It's so yummy, you have to try it. sweaty i just went and stopped at the store that has all the really cute like pots and it's kind of like beachy decor i think i've showed you guys in a vlog before but i was never able to actually get any of it because i would always fly home on the airplane but now that i'm going to be driving home i'm going to get a pot a really pretty pot for my olive tree in the house and then there was also a really pretty like weave basket. I kind of took some clips in there, but they're so busy. There's like three people waiting to talk to the guy and it's like a bunch of interior designers, I think. So it's like taking a while. So I'm just gonna come back on my way 
home on Friday because I have to pass this place again and I don't feel like just wasting my day waiting in there. Um, and maybe I can get here right when they open on Friday and get it because there was like four of them left. So I'm hoping that they don't sell out, but I'm heading to go get my nails done. I really am excited that I get to bring one of those home. And even if the one that I was looking at is gone, there was like a million more to choose from. So, I mean, I would be happy with any of them, so. Look at my car, I just stopped just stopped at a little smoothie bowl place. I have no idea what it's called. I just passed it on my way to the nail salon. I'm like an hour early. So I figured I would just sit and eat. I'm so hungry. I got an acai bowl with almond butter, chia seeds, banana, blueberry, and granola. What is that? It's my radio. I feel like acai bowls are so much better when you don't make them yourself. Do you guys feel like that? just got to our little house. I locked myself in because Romeo is not here yet, but we're staying in a little carriage house. So off of our house is like the main house. It's literally only two of us. So there was no point of getting a huge house. So we have this cute little perfect space for us. I'm so excited. You walk in, I'm gonna do a little carriage house tour. <laughs> you walk in and there's a little table. I completely forgot beach towels and so did Romeo. If you guys are new, Romeo, I danced with her on Dance Dogs at UGA and now we've like stayed best friends. We're both in each other's wedding and so we're just having a little girls weekend. Her name's actually Madison, but I just call her by her last name. But I picked up some towels for us at the like general store. But you walk in, little table, we've got a little kitchen right here, perfect size. I just ran to Publix and just got some like snacks, lunch meat, things like that. I'll do like a little haul in a second of groceries. Cute little area right here. I just brought all my stuff up. Little living room. This is so cute. I love this. And then you go in here. It's literally like such a perfect size. I will link the house down below. I got it on BRBO because we'll be gone by then, but it's in Rosemary Beach right across from the Pearl Hotel. Got another big house off of this side with a cute little pool. And then the bathroom right here, cutie little bathroom. It kind of reminds me of like California for some reason. Big shower, another big window, natural light in the bathroom, which is nice. It's bad lighting because it's backlit, but a full length mirror, which is key, I feel like, in like a rental because everyone wants to know what their outfit looks like. I went to the nail salon and I got my nails taken off. So these are my natural nails. There we go. I got two coats of bubble bath by OPI. Just simple nails. I wanted to give my nails a little break. So Romeo will be here in like 20 minutes. This isn't the best lighting, but we're gonna do a little grocery haul. So we're here for three nights, four days. And my water tastes really strange. So we got some groceries to snack on at night and then also um, for lunches, just because we figured we'd go like walk to get coffee and smoothies here. We figured we'd do lunches here because we have like this whole kitchen and then we'll just eat out for like breakfast and drinks and dinner and stuff. So this is like my go-to at the sandwich is just cold cut, <laughs> go-to at the sandwich. Go-to at the beach is cold cut sandwiches. Turkey salami, you have to get this from Publix, the boar's head honey mustard, it's game changer. And then the Publix sourdough bread, game changer. And I also just looked, they have a toaster right here, so that's perfect. And then I got some fruit just to snack on, um, a red onion and tomato. We have knives right there, so that's good. I got romaine lettuce, already like washed and cut, so that's easy. Got a little cheese platter, which is always a go-to. I got some salsa, and then for chips and crackers, I got Triscuits, roasted garlic is my favorite and then just some Tostito scoops. So literally the simplest stuff, but it's just, we're just here for like four days, so. The houses here are so incredible. Look at this house across the street. Are you kidding me? Hello. Introduce yourself. Madison, <laughs> AKA Romeo. <laughs> I was telling them, I was like, if you're new to my channel, her name isn't Romeo. I just call her that. I'm gonna be sad when your last name's different. I know. I refuse to change it in my phone. <laughs> it's just something like, well, do you think you'll change my name to Rachel Autry? I don't even know how to say Autry. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> but oh look, you can see the camera. It's okay. My sisters were like, wait, you're gonna have to teach us how to say your new last name. Literally. I was like, I know. Did you say seriously? I bought this new brush. I'm losing all my belongings. Oh wait, okay. Uh, okay. Contour. Blood me shit on your face. I need to put my freaking bun back on my head. You're way more ready than me and I feel stressed. Dude, I grow ready. Oh yeah, you did. Romeo has the hair that I want. Show it. Show them your free hair that you get to experience. Show it. No, I'm mean, so rude. So, how dare I? How dare you have naturally beautiful thick hair? I'm yeah. taking this liquid oh. collagen oh, that yeah. tastes like applesauce. Is it really? <laughs> it tastes like apple juice. Oh, yeah. I I actually have been noticing a difference. If you guys were wondering about that liquid collagen I've been taking, I've been noticing a difference because my extensions are growing out quicker than like normal, mm -hmm. which like kind of sucks because I have to get them done quicker. But it's good knowing that my hair is growing. I was about to say, that's kind of a nice tilt. -til yeah. That it's doing what it needs to do. Do you have your hair? Uh-huh. No it? way. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm low bun queen. She always got hairspray. I was on my call this morning, and I don't know if you've used, have you used Microsoft Teams? Uh, no. Or not Microsoft, yeah, Teams. Anyway. I've only it used. your face, so it's inverted. And I'm sitting there. Do you hate that? His button. I hate it. I, I never would. realized. It's like that TikTok filter. Yeah, it, that exactly flips your like face. That, and I'm yeah. like that the whole call. Where's your hairspray? It's um. One dude. I don't. After driving today, I don't know how you drove cross country. I, I'm driving home by myself. I'm home. But I already booked two hotels. I'm only gonna drive eight hours a day. It'll take me three days. I just bought this L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And I love L'Oreal mascara, so I figured I would try this out. This is my literal first time using it. And then the mascara I love is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. As you can see, my lashes are kind of white. And then you... Oh my god! No, look at how good my lashes look! I thought you were talking about... Oh wow. And that, that was like one brush. Who's Pat Patrick Ta? It's like a new brand of makeup that I actually really like. Who are you talking to? <laughs> okay, I just got all ready for dinner. You guys can kind of see my outfit from the back, but I'll show you full length. But I'm gonna put on my jewelry. I quickly wanna talk to you guys about Orate and thank them for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Orate jewelry. It's like all the gold jewelry that I wear. I brought a ton of it on the trip with me. I'm wearing just like my engagement ring, my watch. This ring is one of my go-tos. Uh, why I love Orate is the insanely good quality for the price. You guys know I've been in Florida all summer and I've been wearing my rings and stuff on the beach and you can get in the water with them, you can shower with them and they are not gonna tarnish. Like the quality is insane. Again, for the price, I'm obsessed with all of my rings. I also have Oh, I brought this little ear cuff, which could be cute. Also, all of their jewelry is ethically sourced and sustainably made. Also, super exciting, now you can pay with Klarna. So basically, you can shop now and pay over time, which is just a more flexible way to get what you want from Orate. So it's really nice to be able to do those payment options. I also love how Orate's pieces range from staples to statement pieces all the way to just kind of everyday pieces. Orate is always looking to set the standard high for women because they deserve the best, always reminding them to set their gold bar high. I do have a code for you all, which I would highly, highly recommend using. Check them out. Such a great gift option or just a gift for yourself or if you're trying to grow your jewelry collection. I have so many pieces from them that I truly do love and wear every single day. So if you want to get 15% off of your first Orate purchase, you can go to oratenewyork.com slash Rachel. That is A-U-R-A-T-E New York dot com slash Rachel. And you guys can use my promo code Rachel. So again, oratenewyork.com and my promo code is Rachel. Get you 15% off. So thank you, Orate, for sponsoring today's vlog. I love you guys. We're gonna go to dinner. I'll show you guys my outfit super quick. Outfit. I'm wearing this top. It's from Revolve. I can link it for you guys. Super cute. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's really, really nice quality. And I love like the detail. You can style it so many ways. And then my shorts are from Shop Alley Grace Denim, custom Levi's. I wanted like a longer pair of denim. I thought that it was kind of cute and different for summer. Kind of like a more fallish look, honestly, tonight. 
going into fall early and then my black heels so we're gonna go to dinner i'm so excited we're going to the citizen it's my favorite place in alice beach romeo hasn't been yet and i'm excited for her to try it look how cute this street is that the house is on look at how cute that girl is you're going the wrong way i'm obsessed with the back here all these houses are so beautiful you guys know when you get um your nail like when you have acrylics on and you get them taken off your nail literally if you touch something it like bends in half <laughs> oh i didn't i don't think i blended my bronzer good enough did i wait yeah does it look good I think you're... like I, I leave think it like a contour to, yeah. oh i am like i am dirty. dripping have you showered since your spray tan yes that's i was what gonna I'm say saying. how is it not on your white I showered dress this morning and i scrubbed it's my still face. that tan yeah i panicked this morning i was like I'm not you're doing... more tan than me and I've been at the beach for like two weeks. You guys, they got a new cocktail list and so they didn't have the app all, but we're trying, what was this called? Do you remember? La Bermuda. La Bermuda. They have the best shave ice here, it's so good. And we got oysters. Banana bread pudding. <laughs> You go first, taste test. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do a taste test of our juice. Okay. We just biked to Ron Juicy. It's a little juice bar in Alice Beach, it's super cute. Uh, you're not as picky as me. Like you can eat anything, I feel like, right? Yeah. Like even if it doesn't taste good, you still eat it. Look at the line now. It's not bad. It's not bad, it would be so I just don't love the so cilantro. Worse if, worse if it wasn't a pineapple and apple. If it didn't have that, it would taste like literal patootie. Well, if, I wish we could have brought Winnie. No. That would have been so I thought you were. Okay, I got another acai bowl. I've had it from here before and it's really yummy. I got strawberry on top, peanut butter, bee pollen. <laughs> Fun fact, you would probably never believe this because I love buying Winnie stuff, but I've never actually bought Winnie a new collar. When she was a puppy, she just wore like a bandana collar that Emily gave me because Emily has two golden doodles and she would just like give me their puppy stuff because um, I knew she would grow out of it. And then right now she's wearing a pink collar that Emily also gave me and I just have never changed it because I just have never like ordered one or just hadn't thought of it. Sorry, this table's janky, <laughs> it's not straight. Um, but I'm so excited because we went into this place in Rosemary called Huck and Harlow, the cutest dog store. And the dog, the owner's dog is always in there. It's a, is it an Australian golden doodle? That's what it looks like. Cause it was a golden doodle, but it had different, it was like multicolored and normally those are the Australian ones. But I got the cutest new collar and leash for her and I'm so excited. Um, and it's like a really nice soft material, like a rope. So it's by the brand Finnegan's Cherry Collar. I got a size medium. I'll try to find the link for you guys. I think that they might have it online. But look at how cute. I hope it fits her. I was asking the guy in the store for sizing and the dog that was in the store looked like Winnie's size a little bit bigger. And he said that he wore medium. So I went ahead and got Winnie a medium and then I had to get the um, matching leash because you guys know I love to take Winnie on walks and I don't like the expandable leashes because she kind of just like takes off on those. She behaves better on like a shorter leash. So got the matching leash. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to put it on her when I get home. So I got that. We went into Rosemary Beach collection store. I feel, always feel like a tourist when I come, but I always have to get one of their t-shirts or something. And 
it's weird because I actually only have an Owl's Beach hoodie. I don't actually have a Rosemary Beach one. So I went ahead and got this white crew neck, which just looks so comfy. I got an XL and it's comfort colors. So we got this for me. And then I got this shirt for Dylan. I got him a 2X in this green color because he also loves it here. And yeah, I'm excited about that. And then lastly, fun little purchase. I got a new pair of slippers from this store called Disco. And the girls that were working in there were so cute and helpful. I got a new pair of Uggs. I haven't got a new pair of Uggs in probably like over a year. I think the last pair I bought was over quarantine last summer. Um, and I wanted a new pair because I like live in my Uggs in the house. So I got this pair, which I thought were a little more fall. I don't like when my toes are covered because my feet kind of start sweating, but I got this pair which are so fun i haven't seen this color yet and i really liked the brown with the tan so i know this like style isn't for everyone but i really liked how they're hard bottom because i'm like really bad about wearing my slippers outside so i always make sure i get hard bottom but i'll link these i know that they have them online um from the ugg store and i got a size eight and i'm normally a seven and a half she said to size down because they run kind of big but i like having extra room in my slippers so i went with my true size so they only come in full size, so I'm a seven and a half and I got an eight for size reference. But we're about to change into some swimsuits and head to the pool for the day. We have reservations at a cute little restaurant tonight at five, so we have like an earlier dinner. And I think it's like, what, 11? Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Uh, Super down, girl, look at you. Uh, I love that. I think I saw that on their website and I was like, that would be so cute for a honeymoon. It is cute. You should keep that if y'all do something beachy for your honeymoon. That's really cute. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change and get ready. I'm just got all dressed and wearing this cute little uh, swimsuit from Frankie's. I can link it for you guys. I love the print, it's so fun. And then bottoms, the top kind of wraps around your stomach. Super cute, we're gonna make some sandwiches, head to the beach. I need to pack my book, I wanna read. Yeah, I like I could 